was happening about at five in the morning. Just getting up there to the gym early on the Wednesday. Yeah. Um, we had an early one and today I got upper body. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys around right there. happening so we are back in action this week um had a nice upper body gym session this morning a few bits and bobs filmed there for you um yeah just did our usual contrast at the start for in season we love a contrast method um vertical pull with our pull-ups and then some extra core top-ups and um the stability power off press and then we moved into another variation of our vertical push, which was using a single arm landmine press, nice and heavy. And then supersetting that with some landmine rotations as well. Did a bit of arms uh, and whatnot, a bit of pump work at the end, but didn't film that as the dumbbell section was hoaching. Uh, we went pretty early just before um, my roommate had to go to work, before Zach had to go to work. Um, so busy time in the morning as everyone knows with gyms and things, but it's a pretty decent gym actually, it's well kitted out, you know, um, we have a little outside area as well, which I'll try and get some footage of uh, at some point, it's pretty cool, it's like a pretty CrossFit kind of thing, um, so yeah, if any of you High Rocks lovers will be enjoying that one, um, so yeah, a bit of an update about how the season's kind of gone so far, so as of recording this, um, I am actually editing <laughs> week round two. Um, but as I'm recording this right now, we are three and oh. Um, so we just had our round three game at the weekend there. We beat Hartford Wanderers 85 7. Um, scored a hat trick, so pretty chuffed with that. Um, this week we are away to Worcester, which is probably going to be one of our harder games. We'll be planning on filming the day, getting the footage and highlights of that match up for you as we have a bye week the week after. Um, so plenty of content to come. Um, but yeah, tonight out for dinner. It is Wednesday. Um, I think we're just me and Zach and a couple of the other lads from from the team have just thought go out. Have some dinner and what not. Middle of the week, I think we've got like a dollar oyster bar or something like that. So that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, uh, other than that, not much been been happening really. Training is going well. Um, hopefully into some free jacks development stuff towards the end of the season in November, just before I fly home. Potentially coming back in, well, later down the line. Um, depending on how well we do this season. Not saying anything just yet. Anyway. Um. But yeah, it'll be, be weird, we're at the, the halfway point already, so yeah, it's awesome. Was the trips, man? Right, so weekend game 
didn't go as planned. <laughs> um, only really got the first coming up to the first end of the first half. Kind of made that half break there and then uh, swung to the ground. Felt like a big buzz. Next minute, felt my shoulder and something felt pretty off. So, dead off to the hospital and um, got a couple of x-rays. And I have done a grade three tear to my EC joint. Um, so, it's basically when all the ligaments around the, the joint capsule itself have, have come apart completely. Um, so in a sling until pain subsides enough I can come out of it. Um, hopefully get a follow up with orthopedics sometime this week um, to sort of assess a, a rehab time. Uh, I've got Four weeks to the playoffs. Be a pretty a bit of a miracle, um, to make that. The doc at the time said, uh, doesn't think surgery will be the route to go down. I think I might get away without it, but even then we're looking at around twelve weeks until I'm back fully firing and and everything with this. Um. So yeah, kind of sucks. <laughs> you know, I've only played a couple of games this season and that's pretty much done already. Uh, I'll keep monitoring it over the next couple of weeks. Um, I have seen some people come back from grade threes within six weeks or so. Um, yeah, I just kind of basically next couple of weeks is just going to be getting, getting the pain and the swelling down and restoring as much range of motion as I can. Then... A couple of weeks after that, get it used to working under some, some high volume lighter weights with, with um, with more reps and adding in a few isometrics here and there just to start building back that ligament tissue, joint tissue. Um, and then after that, see how we're doing from week four or five ish. Get back into some some regular stuff. Um, just keep monitoring it over then, over that time period. But no ideal. Um, considering our three biggest games are are coming up and then playoffs. So a bit annoying. But what can you do? It's the sport. Um, advice to anyone who's injured is just look for as many positives as you can. For me, the fact that I've been told off the bat that surgery is probably not a route that I'll need to go down. It's, great win it means that I can just focus on my rehab um, and get back as quick as possible as strong as possible it's also a learning curve for me I've never had a, a pretty serious shoulder issue like this before I'm going to learn how to rehab it properly and hopefully I can help anyone else who might have a similar injury further down the line um, loads of positives that I can take from this and you've got to stay positive with injury you can't can't sit and dwell on what hasn't happened or what what hasn't gone well for you. You just gotta worry about getting back, being better than you were before, making sure it doesn't happen again. Um, you know, what six weeks in the grand scheme of things compared to the next six years in my career that I could potentially screw over if I don't rehab this properly. So, um, yeah, I'm still gonna keep you guys updated. Still keep the vlogs going. Um, and doing that sort of stuff do my daily rehab hopefully make a little content series out of that for everyone just to follow along um, keep myself consistent as well little and often is what a good physio that I once had told me um, little and often and we'll get there but yeah see you in the next video